themselves. Now, let's get started on today's lesson. Happy April Fools! Oh, hello. Welcome back to Mrs. Phillips Camp Kindergarten. Flippy Floppy and Ted are so happy to see you too. Well, yesterday we spent some time learning about different insects and different places they can live. We learned about how insects can live in the grass or how ants can live in an anthill as a colony. We even talked about insects that live in the water, like the dragonfly who lays its eggs or has its babies under the water. Today we're going to talk about what insects eat. Okay? And some of the things insects eat might shock and surprise you. So, one thing that insects eat that I find surprising is garbage, trash. There are insects that like to eat trash and garbage. One of the insects that likes to eat garbage is the fly. The fly likes to eat trash. Well, flies will really eat anything. But flies will even eat garbage or trash. Another surprising thing that insects like to eat are other insects. So there are bugs out there that are carnivorous and will eat other insects. So Adventure Ashton yesterday talked about the praying mantis eating its mate's head. But ladybugs also eat aphids, which are small insects. So here's the praying mantis. We know he, she, the female, likes to eat the head of her mate after they have, they make babies. Another thing insects like to eat are other plants. They like to eat plants. So one insect that likes to eat plants is the grasshopper. It's a picture of a nice green grasshopper. He likes to hop around the garden and eat other plants plants. Put it right underneath here. And one thing, you might already know this because you are so smart. Insects like to eat nectar from flowers. So they like to land on flowers and they like to eat the nectar that they find on the inside of the flower. One insect that likes to do that is the butterfly. But butterflies like to eat the nectar from flowers. All right. Insects also like to eat fruits, different fruits. And one insect that likes to eat fruits is the ant. We saw some ants yesterday when we went on our little hunt for insects in the garden in the backyard. Ants like to eat fruit. And the last category that I want to talk about are vegetables. Different vegetables. There are insects like beetles that like to eat vegetables. So you might find a beetle in your garden eating your vegetables that you're trying to grow. You want to take them off there so that they don't eat your vegetables. Right. Thank you for helping me sort. In the Google Doc, there's this activity for you to do today. It says, what do insects eat? So you can watch this video again to help you fill out the answers, or you can look for the cards and the pictures that are also on the Google Drive. And this was yesterday's activity, where do insects live? So you can label where they live, okay? So there's a picture here to remind you that they might live in a tree. So you can write the word tree or try to use your estimated spelling to sound it out, okay? There's two activities for you that you can do that have to do with insects, okay? All right, let's check in with Trixie for Trixie's treasure of the day. Welcome to Trixie's treasure of the day. I'm joined by my friend Trixie. 
Let's read what she says today. Let's see, Trixie, what's your treasure of the day? Oh, it says, remember, life is too short not to laugh. Love, Trixie. Now, don't forget, it's April Fool's Day, so have some fun today and laugh a lot and be a little bit silly. Thank you for joining me on Trixie's Treasure of the... This isn't Trixie. Wait. Silly Mom. Happy April Fool's Day. All right, now let's go in the backyard and check on our bush bean plant and see if there's any changes. Uh, hi guys, today we're gonna be looking at our plant outside and we're also gonna be writing about what we see in our plant journal. April Fools! All right, it's time to check on our plant and see if there's any changes. I'm looking closely like a scientist to see if I see any sprouts or any changes. And I still don't see any changes. It's been a little over a week since we planted our bush bean seeds. Now I'm really curious to see what's happening under the soil, but I'm not gonna interrupt it. I think that there's some special magic happening and I think that the plant is probably starting to grow some roots and maybe even a little sprout that's gonna poke up through the soil soon. So right now, we're gonna update our plant journal. Remember, you should have a little journal that you've started at home. Keeping track of our plant and its growth or changes. And remember, when you plant seeds, you have to be really patient. It takes time to grow. And think of the things the plant needs. It needs sunlight, it needs air, soil, and water. It's getting all those things right now, but it takes Time to grow. Okay, the last entry was the day four entry. And today is day number nine. I should have written the date. That would have been a good idea. Next time I'm gonna write the date we start planting. Okay, so at the top I wrote day nine. And remember, I'm gonna start by drawing a picture of what I see. So I'm gonna draw the pot. I'm gonna take a little minute to draw that. And then I'm gonna draw the soil or dirt that's in the pot. And there's nothing else new, no sprout to draw. And my pot is not sitting on grass or floating in the air, so I need to draw the sidewalk it's sitting on. And I'm gonna add some more detail to my picture. It's very sunny out today. I don't see any clouds. It's a beautiful sunny day. So here's my picture for today. A quick sketch that I can color later when I go back in. And I'm gonna write a sentence. I'm going to write our seeds, finger space, have, it's a sight word, not changed, ooh, ch ch changed. Remember, C-H makes that ch, ch sound. Changed into a plant yet. Remember, I'm adding the word yet because I know uh, well, I hope at least one of those seeds is going to grow into a bush bean plant. Okay, so there's my sentence. You don't have to copy it. And remember, if you don't know how to write all the words, you can use your estimated spelling to sound it out. Or you can write a different sentence, like our plant hasn't grown yet or has not grown yet. Okay, so make sure you update your plant journal. And now we're gonna go back inside for a little more learning. Lizard break. Okay, everybody. I want to introduce you to a new concept, what I call bossy E. I'm going to write it at the top. Actually, let me write this word 
bossy in black. Bossy E. Okay, so this is called Bossy E. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to read our CBC words, okay? Our three letter words. We're gonna sound them out, okay? So M, A, K, Mac. That's what this word would be, Mac. But the meaning of the word changes if I add letter E to the end. Because you see, letter E is so bossy. Whenever he's at the end of the word, he makes the first vowel say its own name in the word. So the word changes from Mac to make. Okay, so it goes from m a a to m a k. Okay, let's try another one. Let's sound out this word. T a k tack. But if I add bossy e to the end, it changes the way we say the word. So t a k becomes t a k take. Okay, so from tack to take. Let's try this one. K a m k a m cam. But if I add bossy e, it changes the word to k aim. Aim, so came. Okay, let's sound out this one. K -a -k. Cack. Let's add E to the end and see what happens. Now bossy E is going to tell this vowel, the first vowel, to say its own name. So from k -a -k to k -a -k. cake. Okay, let's try a couple more. So over here we have. R -a -k. It's the short vowel sound, short vowel sound, okay? R -a -k. Let's add bossy E and see what happens. Rack becomes R -a -k. rake. Okay, so it changes that short vowel sound to the long vowel sound. It has to stretch out the sound. Let's try this one. O -a -k. Lack. I'm gonna add my bossy E to the end and make a new word, which is ulake, lake. Okay, let's try this one. Bak, back. I'm gonna add an E. What word do you think I make now? Good job. Bake, bake. Like you're baking a cake. One more word. A silly word. Let's add bossy e to see how the word changes. Fake, fake, like pretend. Okay, so anytime we take CVC words like this and we add an e to an end, to the end, that means the first vowel in the word is going to become a long vowel sound and it's going to say its own name. Okay, now there's also a fun activity you can do at home. If you make something like this, it's just a blue circle and I wrote a lowercase letter E on there and I attached it to a little popsicle stick, okay? So you could write out a bunch of CDC words, maybe five or 10 words, and you can take the stick with your letter E on it and you can slap it down to make a new word. So m -ack becomes make becomes take. K -am becomes came. And then we have k -ak becomes cake. Okay? So you could create this at home if you want to play around with making your CVC words change into new words using bossy E. Okay? Now I'm going to erase this and we're going to do one more thing before we end our day together. Okay? So, we have to remember how to write letter F like a kindergartner. We were talking about letter formation and I think I left off on letter E. So now I'm gonna show you letter F, okay? What sound for letter F? 
Now, if I already did F and I forgot, we'll do extra practice with it. So you draw a straight line going down and two lines coming out at the top for letter F. Okay, this is uppercase or capital F. Start by pulling that line straight down from the top and then you lift up your pencil and you take make two lines coming out of the sides. So straight line coming down and a shorter line coming out of the side. Oops, it's a little long. Let me try one more. Okay, so that's for uppercase F. Now I'm gonna show you lowercase F. It's a candy cane across for small F. Candy cane across, I know. Candy cane across for small F. Singing on the old banjo. Okay, so this is Lowercase f looks like a candy cane, and then you cross in the middle. So start at the top, come down, cross in the middle, okay? Let's try one more letter. So we're gonna do letter G. Remember, G makes the g, g sound. So for uppercase G, it's almost like you're gonna write an uppercase C, but it's the uppercase C fake out. You're gonna go all the way around, and instead of stopping, you're gonna cut back in. You're gonna draw a short line back. So let's see it again. Start at the top, come down and around, and go straight back. Now you might write it differently. You might start somewhere different, but remember, this is the kindergarten way. We're gonna start at the top, come down and around, and back. Okay, try it one more time. Go up, down and around, and back. Now I'm gonna do lowercase letter G. Now lowercase letter G is one of the letters that goes under the ground, okay? So you might feel like you wanna write it up here, but you're actually gonna write it down here, okay? So the happy face can go underground. If there was a line here, and then we had our dotted lines here, and our skyline here, we would wanna have our letter G start right where the dotted lines are and the smile would go underground like that, okay? It's kind of a tricky one. So practice it a few times. You're gonna draw a circle around, come back up, go straight down and give a smile underground, okay? Let me draw the lines for you. Okay, so make a circle around, come up, come straight down and give it a smile. It's okay to go under the ground and under the line. That's where you wanna go, okay? So don't forget at the end, you always circle your favorite letter from each category. Hmm, I think this is my best uppercase F. And I think this is my, hmm, this one's my best lowercase F. And I think this is my best uppercase letter G or capital G. And I think that this one is my best lowercase g. Now, I chose my favorite. I can also choose one that I wanna try to write a little bit better. So you can even erase and rewrite it to try to see if you can improve how you wrote it. So this g, I'm gonna try one more time and see if I can make it a little bit nicer. Okay. All right, pat yourself on the back and say, good job, self. All right, and I'll check in with you later. Have a good afternoon. Hey kids, Mrs. Phillips here, and I'm here to tell you, you have extra homework tonight. April Fools. <laughs>